Hello everyone, today we're going to do a section perspective in Revit 2012. We are using the basic sample project that comes with Revit. Uh, you will have it on the first page when you open up, which is normally um, here. As you can see, we will go into that. This will open up, and this is the project. Uh, this is the aerial view you could see it all throughout this is the 3d view um, that doesn't have the materials render onto it it's a little bit easier to rotate around it doesn't take as much uh, RAM and memory into uh, putting the image up on your screen what we're going to be doing today is doing a section perspective which is um, a rendering like so this is just the drawing of it it is not yet rendered uh, the what you want to start with is find out where you want to be taking the perspective from. Normally, the best perspectives are done from ground level because it, you know, it's relative to where you'd be seeing the project if you came up to the site. So what you want to do is go to level one, go to view tab. From the view tab, you go down to the 3D view menu and you select the camera. The camera is a perspective camera, so everything will be as if you were taking an image of this project. Uh, the first click of while after selecting the camera uh, will allow you to set where the camera will be located. Uh, the second click is in which, which direction uh, you want to take the image from, and depending on how far you go is it where is where it would clip the image. So you want to take it all the way back to the end of the project. As you can see right now, um, it's a very close up of this building. So what you could essentially do uh, is move this camera back in plan. Um, if that camera is not showing, if it for some reason disappeared, go back to the 3D Views tab, right click, and click Show mm -hmm. Camera. And it will show you the camera once again, and you'll be able to move it around. Going back to the view now, you can see that most of the project is now showing. Uh, if you still would like to take a little bit more, you could sometimes do uh, the extension of the screenshot. Uh, although, do have to know that this will actually stretch the image um, and give it a fisheye effect depending on how far you go but let's say that this is the view that we like uh, we have got the whole roof we got the rest of the site and every piece of the building fits into our shot uh, now what we want to do is have a section cut of this um, in your properties tab which is on the right hand side normally it's on the top but I have a bigger screen um, and it's just more convenient this way what you would do is go down to the extents and then you see the section box select this and this will give you a box on the outside perimeter of your project which normally takes in the whole project and doesn't cut through anything just yet what this section box will allow you to do once you click it um, you'll see that there's little arrows at the edges uh, these are the arrows that you would have to move in it's a little difficult to do it in this view so we're going to go back to level one in plan and look at this um, it none of this is showing up and what you want to do go back to the 3d views right click show section box and you will now see the extents of where this section box is since our camera was somewhere around here on the top right hand side we want to do is take that top uh, row of the section box and cut through an interesting part of this building. Let's take the corridor uh, Let's not worry about the closets over here um, And cut through the living room and now when we go back to our 3d view or our perspective view You will notice that the building has just been cut and you have now created a section box um, and a sectional perspective as you can see you could zoom in you could render this view uh, by clicking the render tab as long as you're still in the view tab and that's pretty much it you have now done a uh, section perspective if you have any questions or comments please let us know uh, just write below the video thank you have a good day